Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about the water cycle. Are you ready? Let's begin! The water cycle, also known as the hydrological cycle, is the continuous movement of water on Earth. It involves various processes through which water changes its form and location. Let's break it down into a few simple steps. Evaporation The water cycle begins with evaporation. This is when the sun's heat causes water from oceans, rivers, lakes, and even plants to turn into water vapor, which is an invisible gas. Imagine a puddle of water on the ground disappearing after a sunny day. That's evaporation. Condensation. When water vapor rises into the atmosphere, it cools down and changes back into tiny water droplets. This process is called condensation. These droplets gather together to form clouds. Precipitation The next step in the water cycle is precipitation. When the water droplets in the cloud become too heavy, they fall back to the Earth's surface in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Collection Once the precipitation reaches the ground, it collects in different places. Some of it flows into rivers, lakes, and oceans, forming bodies of water. Some of it soaks into the ground and becomes groundwater, which can be stored in aquifers. Transpiration This is an additional step in the water cycle. Transpiration is the process by which plants release water vapor from their leaves into the atmosphere. It's like plants sweating. This water vapor adds to the water already present in the atmosphere, contributing to the cycle. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the water cycle today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!